When learning about the history of life, you'll probably come across a lot of phylogenetic trees, showing the relationships of different groups of living things. This video will explain what exactly these trees mean and how to understand them. A phylogenetic tree is like a family tree. In a family tree, two individuals come together to produce children, but in a phylogenetic tree, the scale is much larger, to the point where an entire lineage of many individuals is simplified into a single line. Phylogenetic trees are meant to show the history of multiple lineages. If lineage A splits into lineages B and C, and then lineage B splits into lineages D and E, then that would be represented with a tree that looked like this, with the branching points representing the last ancestor that the splitting lineages shared. So the tree can give basic information about the order that lineages were formed. It can also show which lineages are more closely related and which are more distantly related, and which organisms fall into which groups. In this example, E is more closely related to D than it is to C, because it shares a more recent common ancestor with D. The orientation of the ends of each branch is not significant. All that matters is the branching pattern. So these trees all say the same thing. Just because A and D are next to each other in this tree, doesn't mean that A is more related to D than it is to E or to C, because the tree could just as easily be drawn like this, or like this. Also, phylogenetic trees are not required to include every lineage that stems from the root and only show the relationships of the lineages that the author has chosen to highlight. The phylogenetic trees we've seen so far have been cladograms, showing their arrangements of different clades or groups as they relate to one another and nothing more. The exact lengths of the branches and the time direction do not have any significance in a cladogram. In a chronogram, the length of a branch is based on the time that is thought to have passed since the branch originated. A phylogram, meanwhile, bases the length of the branches on how much the lineage has changed since it originated. The units can be changes in the genetic code, changes in physical traits, or anything else the author finds relevant. Understanding how to read these trees provides an easy way to visually grasp the way Earth's organisms are connected. If you want to test your understanding of phylogenetic trees, watch our video on one of the greatest unsolved phylogenetic mysteries of all time, the otherworldly creatures from before the Cambrian explosion. It can be found on JG Science's channel, who helped me make this video.